Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video. Um, Speedroids, well, it's mainly subterrors versus or featuring the new Zodiac Beasts. Um, I don't think I need to explain everything here. You know, the biggest weakness of subterrors is that they are really slow, so that's why I'm playing a lot of back rows, mainly also triple dimension barrier. I might main deck Book of Moon or uh, Book of Eclipse as well uh, here in the main deck for you know, very, very versatile. And they can also be used during your opponent's turn. Put your opponent's uh, ABC Dragon Buster face down, put your opponent's Drancia or any mother, uh, yeah, any other big monster face uh, down. But Speed or Terror Top and Envoker, uh, at least they both are types definitely go well together um you know because of invoker invoker can fetch your nemesis and both yeah both nemesis and dread so the deck is excellent uh the, the zodiac beast engine definitely comes through and uh, kinda is a solution to the weaknesses of subterrors but let's see a few example games Alright, first game I think I get to start, and you know the shenanigans of Speedroid, a terror top, but what's exactly the advantage of running Zodiac Beast? Well, it's, it's becoming a trend in the OCG that a lot of decks are uh, just splashing uh, the small, or at least a small Zodiac Beast engine into their deck, um, just because the, the small engine of Molmoret and maybe one uh, booster, one Kalut, you know, the one that you can attach um, yeah, from like your hand on your side of the field, or your side of the field to any... Uh, Zodiac Beast Exceed, one should be fine, but mainly their Triangle, their Tanky is also a crucial card. And you can, you can also pop one of your phase-up useless cards, or, uh, you know, the new card... Your uh, archer, your level 3 subterra monster also triggers when it's destroyed by a card effect. You know you can special summon uh, any zodiac beast monster from your deck off of your triangle, your zodiac beast tanky. And on top of that, because your archer was destroyed, you can special summon uh, a subterra monster from your deck onto the field. So it definitely speeds up the deck and it's better than running like Sky Iris or... Um, what is it called? Um, Fire King Island, uh, you know, uh, which was uh, the case with Cosmos uh, in uh, yeah in our TCG format, well in our previous format. Exodius is just the nuts in this deck, sent everything back, and it's uh, very similar. To to wind ups, you know the shenanigans of wind ups and mighty rats into the hunter loop. Well, zodiac beasts are kind of similar, and uh, the, the fact that you can use Exodius, you're also playing that one uh, quote unquote pot of Everest zodiac beast trap card. But uh, the fact that that yeah, your Exodius can just replenish your monsters, send everything from your grave back to the deck, mainly your Monoret engine. All the Zodiac Beast exceeds, you can just do everything all over again, and that's so, so good. Uh, but yeah, the fact that uh, this uh, so at least yeah, the Zodiac Beast cards are so nice together with Subterrors is because of Drancia, for example, as well, next to Triangle. Drancia is just that, that instant exceed without any drawbacks, right? You can just pop any face-up card from your opponent, protect your flip effect monsters, and that's something like Subterrors really lacked, um, some kind of defense. I mean, uh, you rely on your back row, on your Solemn's uh, Warning Strike and uh, also your Dimension Barrier to protect your flips, to protect your sets. Um, anyway, go for Castell, but eventually I should be able to go for game, I believe. Yeah, maybe the better move was to go for... Um, what is it called? That Phantom Knight rank 3 XC to pop my own uh, uh, archer, you know, continue the shenanigans, or at least get uh, go for Dire Wolf also was an option, I believe, but doesn't really matter since I can just attack for a game. Next game against ABCs, the opponent starts off with a decent hand. My hand is okay, but this deck's biggest weakness is back row. You, you don't want to go all in into back row, so I might just add an extra Twin Twister, the third one here, to the main deck. And yeah, the second weakness of this deck, well, of Zodiac in general are the hand traps. Maxi, Ghost Orga for example, a Flying C as well, uh, definitely becoming very popular in the OCG, well maybe for Maxi and Ghost Ogre, but hand traps are so crucial against the Zodiac Beasts. But on top of that he did have a Twin Twister on his own, so now I'm not able to get rid of the ABC field spell and you know that's... That's too good, the ABC Dragon Buster on this side of the field and um, yeah, I have like no Eclipse. 
not the main deck, uh, would be good here to prevent this ABC Dragon Buster from using its effect. Well, put it face down and get rid of it. Uh, well, yeah, he probably would use the effect, right, to tag out, but you know what I mean. Uh, just so I can uh, push my place, or at least get my place go through, since now it's just game over. So that's one of the weaknesses this deck still has. Uh, back row and the hand traps as well. Um, anyway, last game I get to start. Normal Summon Rat. Again, the opponent flashes the max C. Okay, good play. Uh, although, yeah, I think I just have to give my opponent the, the extra card. The one for one for max C just to go for Drancia. Drancia can, again, possibly um, pop one phase up card from my opponent. Any monster, any field spell. And that's the reason why, the biggest reason why I did it. So he's going to lure out that Drancia with his Photon Treasure. But I have a max C on my own. Very good. Too good. So sad that max C is, is at 2 in the TCG here the twin twister saves my ass uh, probably without a twin twister I um, ran into the, I would have ran uh, in, the, yeah, in the strike with my uh, tiger my tigress and uh, not really sure if I could continue my place after that I would have been forced to use Exodius already but um, if I just go for Dweller and Drencia maybe I should have made another play but again securing my play place for next turn prevent him from searching and triggering his gadget and on top of that I have Strike and that's the biggest reason I, why I went for Drencia backed up with Dweller since I know I can hold off a possible ABC Dragon Buster and with the, the Dweller on my side of the field prevent him from searching as well so now, thanks to that uh, Zodiac Beast trap, just use my engine all over again. Yeah, all over again. Run into the strike, but no problem. I can follow up with engine number two. So go for speed right there at top. You know, Invoker is so versatile, either searching out my rat or Nemesis. And that's why Exodius is also so good. It's an extra target to be tributed next to your Nemesis. I sadly can't attack for game. So just set at the big ass level 12 uh, sub terror monster set and again back it up with strike and Drancy as well. Very important. The opponent reveals the soul charge, but that's not going to get it at all. He's going to use his silver gadget, so that's why I kept the strike. No reason to uh, use a strike on this gadget, and I can just use it on the possible exceed, right? And I still have Drancy and the Dweller to just finish the game here. And uh, yeah, attack for a game. So very nice games, but. Um, <sighs> the Zodiac Beast engine is becoming a real, real problem, especially in the OSCG, the fact that you can splash it into a lot of decks is not really a problem, well... Uh, it's just the fact that the engine is so good. Out of one card, one speed road there, out of one red, you can establish such a nice board and uh, you can pair it up with like a rank 10 exceed play Exodius and your uh, level 10 sub terra monster. It's also an option. I definitely want to main deck multiple instant fusions for that, uh, yeah, that, uh, what is it called? Adolon Beast. You know, the, the level 5 that can put something face down, triggers the Zodiac, uh, triggers your sub terrors in hand. But Northern, uh, yeah, Book of Eclipse is also an option I want to main deck as well. But uh, yeah, that's it. Guys, uh, thanks for watching and feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them starting out. Peace.